so uh, one of the more talked about films uh, this year, going through the film festival circuit and everything, is uh, The Father, directed by Florian Zeller, starring Anthony Hopkins and Olivia Coleman. And uh, yeah, wow. I mean, Hopkins is coming for that Oscar, motherfucker. I mean, everyone is talking about Hopkins, and uh, rightfully so. I mean, it's one of the more moving and uh, passionate performances of his career. I'm not going to act like I've seen everything about him. Okay, I haven't born in 97 um but yeah I, I mean this performance is the best of the year so far at least i mean especially at this stage in his career i mean i don't even know how old he is i'm just gonna look up how old he is real quick um 82 holy shit 82 okay all right motherfucker is 82 years old are giving a performance like this man if i'm 82 i i should be in like a retirement home or sitting <laughs> yeah holy shit i mean that's that's amazing i mean some people have literally said it, it's his best performance someone said it's one of the best performances they've ever seen i don't know if i would go that far but i mean it's definitely something i feel like at this point we can just give him the oscar um unless like daniel kaluuya from judas and the black messiah have anything to say about that if, if that is coming out in time for the oscars which i, I assume it is but yeah, I mean, that's, it's, it's the best performance I've, I've seen so far this year. And Olivia Coleman, the queen, is amazing in it as well. I mean, I, I, I figured she would go in Best Supporting Actress, which is I'm sure where she will go. But uh, I, I kind of assumed she would be one of those people where it's like, here's your nomination, but you have no chance. Uh, she has a much bigger role in this than I thought. I mean, it's a lot of uh, facial expressions and crying, and listening, and caring, and she's great. And the acting is definitely the strongest part of the movie. I mean, with the movie surrounding a, a man with dementia, and how it affects him, and uh, the people around him, you you need the acting to be strong, and fuck it's strong. And that speaks to Hopkins and Coleman. I mean, you know, with dementia, you're, the movie really puts you in, in his mind, and it's very disorienting, and lines of plot will get thrown at you only to get erased just right there and then you're kind of left wondering what's real what's not and it, it's a very uh not confusing in a way that like tenant was i know i keep bringing up tenant and stuff and it's not like how people deemed i'm thinking of anything's confusing or it's like you have to look like layers layers deep under it this is not one of those movies you very clearly get like what they're going for and that's why it makes sense but you're also like i have no idea what's what's real or not basically and uh they they did that perfectly now some people will find uh the first half particularly holy shit particularly repetitive and that's because you know like i said with someone with dementia some scenes start repeating and you don't know if it already happened or not um so some might find that a little i don't know annoying um, I didn't find it annoying, but I definitely noticed it, and I was like, okay, like, I kind of get it, let's move on, but by the end of the movie, those complaints went away from me, um, I, I just, I understood it, I, I knew why they did it, and it works. This movie is like a puzzle piece, I guess, but it's like a constantly rearranging puzzle piece, you know, it's kind of like constantly moving, and I guess some will find that annoying and not pleasant. Um, luckily for me, I hate myself, so I really enjoyed it. And as far as negatives go, um, I feel like you can tell from the trailer, I mean, this movie is just bland. Um, there's nothing really interesting about it. There's no interesting shots, really, except for maybe like one or two. And some might say that's for a purpose. They just want to portray the plain life of a man with dementia. Um, you know, I think even if you're going for that, you can still make it a little bit better in terms of the cinematography. Um, it's not bad by any means, but like I said, it, it's plain. It's like this video here, you know? I understand, like, my coloring is shit. There's just a pink donut right there. My lighting is super harsh. Nothing interesting going on. But, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, I expect this to be at the Oscars for sure. Um, it can be a player in a number of things. Um, but, yeah, I mean, as I've seen it just once, and I definitely want to rewatch it, I'm going I'm to give it four stars. I feel like this will get nominated for picture. I feel that. Obviously, the actor and supporting actress, probably a screenplay, probably editing. Who knows if you could sneak in for a director. I feel like 
only like one or two spots are really up for grabs and best director but we'll see all right so i got a lot of movies coming up as i keep saying um i have sound of metal tonight as i'm recording this i have minari and wolf walkers tomorrow one night in miami sunday a movie called i carry you with me on tuesday and then some dylan o'brien movie love and monsters or something i don't even know if i'm gonna review that i'll have to see how good or bad it is but yeah a lot of stuff thank you all for the support thank you for subscribing thank you for watching please take care stay safe covid is here to stay um i feel like we already knew that okay yeah stay safe wash your hands